we have our public relations and marketing update, please, Megan? Yes. Um, tonight, I'm going to share with you um, a Lowndes County Logistics Spotlight, which comes from the Georgia Center of Innovation um, for, for Logistics. This is a report that they release each year, and so this was released um, last month after our meeting. Um, so this looks at 2012's um, Logistics Spotlight. And so what this report shows is that um, there was more than 5.5 billion um, inventory moved through Lowndes County last year. Um, so some, some, some people get frustrated with truck, truck traffic, but in motor, in motorists get frustrated as well, but that is money moving through our community every day um, and then billions of dollars annually. Um, so Lowndes County witnessed more than 277,000 truck freight movements during 2012. Um, and that's a little bit more than 139,000 inbound shipments delivered with 4.1 billion in goods, while 137,000 outbound deliveries sent more than 1.6 billion worth of goods across Georgia and around the world. Um, all, we know logistics, Lowndes County is a great logistics target, um, and so we do have seven dedicated warehousing and distribution facilities. We know Lowe's facility is the largest at 1.2 million square feet under two roofs, and then you have Dillard's distribution stores, the second with 750,000 square feet of space, and Home Depot with 550,000 square feet of space, square feet. Um, they also report on the next slide, next Can portion. I ask yep. one? Yeah. How does that relate to the prior year? Sure. Is that up, level, down from the prior year? Do we know? Um, I do have last year's report. I haven't compared the two, but that would just be curious yeah. to know if it's flat, down, or up. Okay. Megan, I, one, one question. When we're talking about inbound and outbound freight, we're literally talking about freight that is docked or touch docks in Lowndes County. Correct. Not simple flow. No, no. It is stopping in Lee County. I mean, okay. stopping in Lowndes County or leaving Lowndes County. And actually being docked or warehoused Should in be. or warehoused to go out. Correct. This also takes a look at rail, um, and so there were all, almost 14,600 rail trips that brought 751 million worth of goods into Lowndes County, and then while 8,600 rail shipments left Lowndes County with, in 2012 with more than 506 million worth of goods. Um, so that was just some interesting information. I'd be happy if there's a copy right with you today I can also send you one digital if you'd like to have a look at it um, later and there's just also great information that they provide um, in this spotlight the next um, link we're going to go to is to the Georgia Ports Authority and Georgia Ports have done a recent um, impact economic impact look at um, total imports and exports so you'll see um, the T-E-U-S stand, stands for 20-foot equivalent unit. So obviously the containers that you see at the port. Um, so a total import um, coming into Lowndes County would be 6.6.8, 646.8 containers, and the total export would be 566.3. And then the short tons is, is equal to equal to 2,000 pounds. Um, so looking there, and then also the economic impact on employment of the ports have on Lowndes County um, is part of the report. And then also looking at the commodities, the top imports and exports are reported there um, on this site. So there's some, just some useful data um, and interesting information as we look at um, our, our local economy and how it affects how it is a global economy these days with our industry and the, where we, the materials and goods that we use. Megan, can I make a comment? Yeah. The so for instance, 
when you when she talks about the 20 TEUs, when you see um, those big carriers that are being that are on the rail system, the little boxes are 20 TEUs. The larger boxes that would fit the whole back end of an 18 wheeler is a 40 TEU. So in the logistics world, you would count your 20 TEUs and then that counts into your 40. That takes into account the 40 TEUs. Does that make sense what I'm trying to say there? Okay, so that I would say. And I'd go back to kind of talk to her about the frail, the rail freight. Uh, when you look at the 14,000 cars that come in, that, that in for the things that are coming in are wood, um, going into Langdell Industries, going into PCA, coming into um, ADM. Those are the types of products that are used in the manufacturing process that's coming back into our community and then are going out as that finished good. So that, when you think about that, just kind of know what that translates into from a day-to-day -day purchase for us and how we look at it and how we should look at it. If, if you drew a 150 mile circle around us, <laughs> Macon, Brunswick, Jacksonville, Gainesville, Collins Park, the rest of Milton. How, how do we stack up? If we're really looking for that, see how we stack up. What's the measure here? How do stack up? You know what I mean? I think it's, it's just a thought because that's our competition with people looking for the southeast of the promotion. And, and the more we know about our competition, I think the better we can you know, for the people out there, but uh, it'd be just, just kind of interesting to see what kind of staffs they have. You know. Yeah. Well, these this is available on the Center um, Center of Innovation for Logistics website, and I can I'm happy to send you that link. And every county is available in Georgia for you to look at. Um, so, I wanted to share Lowndes County, and I have pulled several other communities as well just to look at some references. But I think it's. Each community has its own unique attributes as well to support the logistics businesses that are there. I don't want to ask for a whole lot of extra work, but if you do have apple to apple comparisons to last year, can yeah. you just say, you know, rail is up 10%, truck is down 5%, just so we can get a feel on the trend and where it's headed? Thank you. As, as a 